Okay, we're starting today with a square canvas, just the standard square canvas from Procreate. And we are going to make a curly hairbrush. This is good for making uh, curly hair on people or animals. Let's change our brush color to white and our background color to black. And let's go up to our shapes. We're going to use this circle here. That should be 30, yes. And remember, if you can't read the number up here very easily, just zoom out on your canvas. And the size of the brush is relative to the size of the canvas. Makes it easy to see. All right, so we're going to put a dot here in the middle. And we are going to change the opacity to somewhere around 50% or so. Then we're going to duplicate it. And then what I want to do is tap down here at the bottom right. I'm just doing eight taps. We're going to make a really thin line here that's pointy at either end. I can turn off the top layer one, maximize this one, tap on the first layer one and do a select. Go down to the bottom layer one and clear. And we have this nice little moon shape. We can delete this one. I'm going to duplicate layer one. Two, three, four times is good to start with. And we're just going to randomly rotate this by grabbing this green dot here and moving it either side. Let's do some more. One, two, three more. There we go. Basically, we need these points to be going in all sorts of different directions. There we go. And basically we want a right proper mess. I'm going to pinch these layers together. I've got my snapping here set with the magnetics off. I'm going to do a fit to canvas. And then I'm going to copy this layer. I'm going to go up one layer and turn the layer one off. And now let's go here to hair and fur. We're going to leave the stroke path all the same. Let's go here to shape, edit, import, paste. Give that a done. And we're going to change the rotation to follow stroke. And let's go down to Apple Pencil. Let's turn the opacity all the way off there. Go to... That looks weird. Go to Properties, turn Orient to Screen off. And let's see. We 
we need this to look a little bit different. Let's put this jitter to 20. No, let's try 30, 50. Okay, and let's see. Shape is follow stroke. We're going to use the intense glaze. Let's give it some lightness and darkness. I'm going to go somewhere around 20% for each of those. Apple Pencil is off. Orient to Screen is off. Maximum size. Let's make that 400. Give that a done. And let's see what we got here. That looks like it might be what we're looking for. Yes, that looks very nice. Let's go to Color Dynamics. Let's add secondary color. The secondary color I have here is a brown. That adds quite a nice bit of volume to it. Let's put this up to 70. There we go. And this, of course, would be good if you're doing a semi-realistic to cartoonish head of hair for someone. Or a poodle. Maybe a Bichon Frise. I would want to use smaller... For the Bichon Freeze. Yeah, see, that looks very much like curly dog fur now. So I'm going to come over here. Let's go to the properties. Let's give it a minimum size of 20. Yeah, I don't think I'd want it more than that. You can make dust bunnies with this. All right, so we now have created a curly hair brush, which should work out very nicely. I hope you enjoyed this video, and you have a wonderful day.